Hey guys, it's LSD789 with another build video. This is going to be my status effects Eclipse protocol uh, with fire builds. Yeah, let's go right into it. So with this build I use a firewall specialization with a flamethrower. Mainly because I really like the flamethrower and it makes sense on a fire status build. You can also use the uh, technician specialization with uh, skill damage and skill tier. But I really like the flamethrower. Uh, because you get a uh, burn duration, so the fire stays longer on enemies. And also, if your armor breaks, you put fire all around you. So yeah, firewall has a has a nice uh, perks for it. And the flamethrower is just really useful with the uh, Eclipse protocol. So yeah. Then as a gun, I use a Scorpio shotgun with shotgun damage, damage to armor, and damage to target out of cover. Uh, if you don't have that third attribute, uh, I have a video that uh, shows you how you can re-roll that. You need to go to the crafting station. Um, the Scorpio comes with a talent called the Septic Shock. Shooting a target applies a stack of Venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing the stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. And at, at 1 you, get, uh, you apply Poison, then Disoriented, 6 is Shock. At 7, uh, the target takes additional 20% damage from all sources and the stack no longer increases. And the duration of status effects is based on the percentage of pellets hits on applying a shot. So yeah, that 7th uh, stage uh, amplifies all damage uh, from all sources. So even if you are in a, in a team with other players, they will uh, do 20% more damage. And your fire will do 20% more damage. And yeah, the, the Scorpio is really good. You can also use the Iron Long LMG, the exotic one, I don't have it on me, uh, that applies fire, but I think the fire is too weak for that gun, so yeah, I really like the Scorpio for this. Um, then as a secondary, I use the Shield Splinterer, with Assault Rifle damage, Health damage, and damage to target out of cover. I think this is a Hunter gun, you get this from killing all the Hunters in, uh, in Washington. Um, this one comes with the perfect optimist. Weapon damage is increased by 4% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So yeah, at maximum, uh, you can do 40% extra damage with this gun. This one comes with crit chance, crit damage, and crit chance. And I don't put the extra magazine in, the magazine size, because um, if you put more magazine size in your gun, it takes longer to get you to that 40%. So yeah, with less, less ammo, you get quicker to that 40%. But you can actually use any gun, you can also use a mechanical animal, or you can use the pyromaniac assault rifle. You can use any gun you like, but I like this one for the damage. There's a pistol, I use a card 45. This is not a card custom, because I'm already at max skill tier, so I don't need a special named item. This one comes with in sync. Again, this is not really important, I mainly use the Scorpio. No, I, I mainly use the cam launcher, I always run with the cam launcher in my hand, and I, if I need the Scorpio, I have it. Then for the gear, I use a Fire Mask with a skill tier, status effect, hazard protection, and armor on kill. Uh, just to give you some survivability. Then as a talent, it comes with a Toxic Delivery talent. Status effect also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. And the total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade, which is, oh, I don't, uh, which is 1.4. So 50% of that will uh, give the damage to the toxic delivery and then the damage and uh, yeah of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes and uh, we have status effect attributes on everything and the eclipse gives you a uh, status effect and the golden gear gives you status effect so yeah this fire mask is gonna do really good damage uh, yeah then for the backpack i use the eclipse protocol backpack if you have two pieces, you get 15% status effect. For three pieces, you get skill haste and 30% uh, hazard protection. And for four pieces, you get the indirect transmission. Your status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 10 meters and refreshes 50% of the duration. So when you get a kill with uh, a status effect, it will apply that status effect to all nearby enemies. So this is amazing. Then as a core attribute, I use a skill tier. And attributes are status effect and skill haste. And the backpack talent is the Simpton Aggravator, which amplifies all damage uh, you deal by, uh, to status affected targets by 30%. So when you apply a status effect, all damage you deal will be increased by 30. And that also increases your fire damage. 
So this backpack is like a must. You can also use a creeping dead backpack. Uh, this one uh, with the yeah, it's the courier with the creeping dead. This will apply stat This will spread your status effect uh, to nearby enemies within 10 meters. This one's also good, but uh, I like the backpack for the straight up damage, the 30%. So yeah, you can choose. I, I would choose this one for the for this fire build because yeah, you just want damage. But you can also use the this one. Um, then for the chest piece, I use an Eclipse protocol, the same stats, uh, skill tier, status effects, and skill haste. This one comes with a, prof yeah, with this talent, increases indirect transmission range from 10 meters to 50 meters, and refresh uh, percentage from 50 to 75. So yeah. Instead of 10 meters and the duration is refreshed by 50, you have 15 meters and it will refresh by 75%. So yeah, this will increase the radius and the damage. So yeah, this chest piece is really good. Then I have a Eclipse uh, holster with status effects. Then uh, Eclipse knee pad with status effects. And I have a golden gear uh, that, which gives you status effects, skill tier and status effects and skill damage. You can also use the, what's the name, the electric set that gives you status effects. I should have one on me. Uh, I don't have it on me. But yeah, you can also use electric, which gives you status effect, but I already have a golden gear. Well, I should have it here. Yeah, this one, the electric gives you status effect as a brand bonus. So that one's good, but you can also use golden gear, you can choose. Uh, this one comes with status effect and skill damage. That skill damage will also increase your, yeah, your skill damage. So this one's really good. So that's the whole gear. Then for the skills, I use a Stinger Hive, which applies bleed to the targets. It's max skill tier. Then I have a damage mod in it, a Stinger Charges mod, and a Duration mod. And then I have a Cam Launcher. Uh, the, yeah, the Cam Launcher Firestarter, which applies fire with burn strength and skill haste. And then... When you shoot this at the target, it puts um, a gas cloud down and you can ignite the gas cloud by shooting it or your teammates can shoot it or even the enemies can shoot the gas cloud and that will ignite it. But if you see on the lower right, if you double tap your skill button, it will detonate it. So you don't even have to shoot it, you just double tap and that will ignite the, the gas cloud. You, sh you will see in the gameplay how I use this. You can also use the sticky bomb, uh, this one. It will do, this one does 1 million, uh, 1.2 million uh, damage. And this one only does uh, 600,000 damage. So it's like half damage, but it will give you seven ammo. So yeah, you can actually choose. This one is one shot for double damage, but this one has seven shots for only half the damage. So yeah, but I like this one because I just run with the camera in my hands. That's like my main gun. My shotgun is actually my secondary. So yeah, you will see in the gameplay how I ignite it and how I use this. And then when you get the kill, it will spread the fire, it will spread the bleed. So yeah, this build's really fun. Uh, just melting enemies, you can spawn, kill the enemies with this. And when they're, fi when they're on fire, they, they can't shoot. And yeah, it's, it's really useful, really fun. It's one of the most fun builds in the game. Um, I hope you guys like the builds. I will put in some gameplay now of the build. Um, if you have any questions about the build, just, just write a comment and I will uh, respond to it. And yeah, LSD 789, out.
in route. Detected. Near yeah. location. Cornered by hostiles. Hostiles detected. So, control point identified. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Should have burned them already. Unknown network detected. Isaac's picking up a signal in the underground. It could be Kajika. Oh, oh, oh. 
Make no mistake, we may have caught him off guard, but we sure as hell have his attention now. He's in the catbird seat down here. Agent, run a scan of the site and find out where he's heading. Isaac, there's a control room nearby. There should be a way to activate the drainage system. Detected. Katika's on the run again. Finish off those cleaners and stay after them. Katika retreated to the tunnel. Keep the heat on him, Agent. He'll run out of road soon enough. up a lot of vibrations. Careful, Agent. The cleaners are boring tunnels down here. You must be getting close to their drill. I lost contact with the supply team. The vision must have made it through. We have enough fuel in the tank to reach Haven? Maybe. Then we keep going. Haven? They're gonna drive that thing right through me. Shit. I knew they were planning something big, but I didn't expect this. Oh. Oh. 
Watch yourself, Agent. This tunnel is falling apart. Find a way to destroy that drill. We can't let the cleaners reach Haven. Fuel stockpile detected. We need to get this drill out of operation. Rhodes, any ideas? Giant drills are not exactly my specialty. But let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, Agent. Isaac's picking up a crane, a fuck ton of oil, and a bowl of other stuff that's beyond my comprehension. But if you can access the controls and drop the fuel supplies over that drill head, I should do the trick. You're gonna need to deal with those cleaners while the fuel's on the move. salvaging the stuff when you're done. We've already lost too many people. If they breached Haven, there would have been nothing left to save. Now get back to Kajika. Isaac's detecting movement in the tunnels up ahead. Taking out that drill was a start. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be looking over my shoulder every time I take a leak. If Kajika gets away, he's going to come for us. No pressure, Agent. Just keep on going. Guess the cleaners have more control over the city than we thought. Had, Kelso. With that drill out of action, we made a serious dent in their operation. I hope you're right. The only thing we need to worry about right now is finding Kajika.
choice. Now you have to face the consequences. Take that bastard down, Agent. Incoming hostile communication. My fight was never with the Division. You could have joined us, but instead you chose to serve the traitors who left us for dead. Kajika's trying to get a reaction out of you. Don't give him the satisfaction. Incapacitated. to trap you. Get away from that steam and finish him off.
Rose, are you getting a signal? Not a damn thing. Shit. He must have been holed up in here for a while. Find where he was hiding and search for clues. <laughs> Kajika's targets. He really knew how to cover his tracks. One left. I guess this is why he was using the cleanest to take down Haven. And then his vendetta. You made a big difference here today, Agent. Well done.